I think the key factor to drive new soft growth in past 70 years is innovation and people. Innovation for new soft is not only the term of technology. Uh, we know we need to create something in low cost and good performance, and also we know how to create uh, the value to our customer. Also, the innovation is, does mean uh, new soft want to create everything by ourselves. We need to know how to build the cooperation with our partner and also we know how to share resources with him to work together to make innovation. And because of this, we create a lot of new business and also driven the new soft uh, keep fast growing. Another very important factor to drive a new soft growth is people. We start from three people in campus of Northern University. Now we have 13,000 employees. Uh, in the startup period, we have very good cooperation with Northeastern University. We got a lot of talents from this university. Today, we invite another three university we call New South University. Now we have 23,000 students study in that campus. That university become the human resources pool of the New South group. Also, it is a platform of an ecosystem to like us to work together with our customer and also our partner. I think the challenge is leadership. If you say the New South in past 17 years, we keep average 30% growing every year. So that means uh, leaders is become more important to drive the fast growing of this company. In last year, we got a 4,000 employee, uh, but today we need a more and a more the leaders who have a global vision. He know how to manage the talents, and also he know how to avoid the risk, and they know how to face a kind of a challenge. I think uh, two sectors will drive the new of fast growth in the next 10 years. One is the domestic market. We are very, very lucky. In the past 17 years, we already got a lot of excellent customers in China. So uh, they give us 17% of revenue every year. But if you look at the next 10 years, I do believe we will got more customers the custom we already had will give us more contribution. So uh, uh, if you look at the market of the United States of Japan, in the same period of economic fast growing, IT investment is always a big investment of the government and the enterprises. So I think China is the same. After 30 years, fast growing in manufacturing business. From now, we will have a more investment to IT services. They need IT to enhance their performance of management, to enhance their uh, productivity of manufacturing. Product engineering is another sector will drive news of fast growing. If you see a lot of uh, digital product which is made in China, there's a lot of software is embedded inside of those kind of product. You can see more and more software embedded in those kind of product will saving to China, have R&D in here, have development here, and also in future, they need to provide services in here. So we will focus on this sector we already have a very good experience in that field by corporates, many of excellent global company. This world is now any of country can independent with others. Of course, the economic slowdown uh, in global wide will impact of Asia, of course, of China. But I think Asia is a little, little bit different region because we have most fast-growing 
market in here. It's a huge demand in here. So that is an emerging country and also a lot of emerging company also in here. So they have many of advantages in computation. They are low cost, not only in manufacturing, also in R&D, in development, in services. Like Japan and Korea, they do a lot of business in China. Also, they did a lot of R&D in here. In China, we have very good ability to develop the software, do R&D, and provide services can integrate with a brand and the R&D resources of Japan and Korea. So by those kind of integration, we can play the game in global competition. Of course, the financial crisis is a disaster to some of the small size and startup company because you will face a challenge shortage of capital, even uh, you know, weak demand from a marketplace. But I do believe it is also the great opportunity, especially in Asia, especially for some emerging company. And I think that opportunity is, that is the chance for you to grow in fast by acquisition and merge. That is the opportunity for you can cooperate with some of the good company who need huge the marketplace in your region. And also it is a great opportunity for you to invest some of project in a low cost for the long term. So, you know, you need to learn how to survive in economic slowdown, uh, just like, you know, the risk is not only in that period, even the economic is very, very good. Many of the company is, cannot know how to survive in that good situation. I'm very happy to uh, join the uh, Summer Divers who hold in Tianjin. It is uh, my second time to join this annual meeting. I really want to listen the voice from the leadership, uh, entrepreneurs, and also experts in economics. So I think that is a great platform, uh, like uh, all people from global wide to discussing the trends of uh, economics and uh, like uh, the people to share their experience and how to face those kind of a challenge of economic slowdown. So I look forward to see all the friends and my partner and also uh, some of uh, you know, the people I never know. And uh, I think this uh, meeting will be success. And uh, thank you very much.